What is up everybody, it is Drew Travel with the Burning Bits here with another video. Uh, and today I'm gonna be showing off a post ban list Sword Soul deck profile. Uh, this is something that once I saw that Protos came back, I was like, yeah, I'm like, we could do something with this. And when I saw like, you know, everything else on the list, um, I was like, yeah, I think, I think that we could build something that works. It sucks that we don't have uh, Baron anymore, which is uh, very unfortunate. I mean, I, I see why they did it, because if you take away Baron, Savage, and Link Karibo, it makes pure Snake Eyes, like, struggle to, um, you know, do more of their extra deck stuff. But um, the problem is that you also just destroy a bunch of rogue decks, um, or, like, tier 2 decks, by getting rid of those cards, and now it's like people don't want to play because you had all these nice budget reprints that came out, and then you ban them. Like that's that's kind of um, kind of retarded. Like really, really fucking dumb. Um, so yeah, I'm not a fan of the ban list for the most part. I think that a lot of it was um, not great considering the format that we're in. But that is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about Sword Soul. So let me go ahead and jump on in and uh, talk about this uh, amazing deck that I've been playing for uh, probably a lot longer than I should. <laughs> so as many people know, traditionally, I, um, I, I tend to play 40 card decks. That's just what I gravitate towards. This list is actually 45 cards. Um, I changed it up because I wanted to do something a little spicier that is still gonna counter, um, you know, fire decks. Uh, and I think this is probably a, a, pretty, a pretty good answer to that. So uh, starting off with the, the Sword Soul stuff, we have three Ecclesia um, to summon out stuff like your Moise um, because it's literally free, <laughs> uh, which is nice. So yeah, uh, you know, three Ecclesia, three Moe, that's kind of standard. Uh, three Long Yuan, that's also pretty standard. I don't really have to go uh, very in depth on that. Two Taya, uh, that's, I, I think it's standard now. I, I don't, I think there was a time a long time ago where I was playing one, but now it's like, you, you should probably just play two of this card. Like it's really good follow up. Especially considering like you don't have to have like a worm or sword soul in hand, you just banish it from grave instead. So like on the following turns that are not your first turn, uh, you definitely have a lot more ability to make Ty alive. Then uh, three emergence and one blackout. Um, I don't play anything like Summit because I don't think Summit is ever worth playing. I've never thought it's worth playing. Um, so yeah, we just roll with these. Um, then the 10 stuff, we have three Ashuna, uh, two Vishuda, two Adhara, and one Mapura. Um, the reason that, one of the reasons that I play Mapura, because what you're gonna find is I'm not playing Circle or Vessel. Um, like Mapura is good because you, we also have Protos now. So Protos can, you know, pop the Mapura if you're going first, and then, you know, you've basically locked your opponent out of fires. Uh, which is insane. So, like, there's multiple applications to it. It's it's a pretty good card. Um, I I think it's it's pretty solid. So uh, that's like our Tenyi and Protos kind of deal. Uh, then next, this is the spicy stuff. Um, we're playing a super heavy engine. So three motorbike, three Wakushi, one Benkei, and this is the real spice here is Soul Horns. Uh, the reason we play Soul Horns is because it makes either Motorbike or Wakaoshi uh, one card um, Danglong. And Danglong will search out your one copy of Suwani. Uh, and then you can normal the Suwani, or you could Pendulum Emit, whatever you, you want to do. Um, and then you can Link, or I'm sorry, Synchro for uh, Chaofeng. When you make the Chow Fang, it actually locks your opponent out of fire and light. So you can't be nibbed, uh, you can't be ashed. Fire decks just automatically pretty much lose for the most part. Um, so yeah, it, the super heavy engine is crazy. Uh, goes really, really hard. And you make the Chow Fang as the um, the fifth summon. So your opponent can't even like nib you at that point unless they have like uh, imperm. They can't even Valor it because Valor's a light and they can't activate lights. So um, yeah, really, really crazy. I'll show uh, how to do that at the end of the video. 
And then lastly is the hand traps. Uh, we don't play any other spell traps because we're playing a super heavy engine. So we just have like the three emergence and the one blackout. Uh, but here we have three nib, three droll, three ash, and three valor. Just 12 hand traps. I don't think that needs um, an excessive amount of explanation. That That is what it is. Uh, it's pretty darn good. But that is the main deck. Like I said, 45 cards. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think playing uh, Heavenly Circle or Vessel are worth it. Like the 10 E's are okay, but like, I don't know. They're not, they're not as good in this variation, but they definitely can do stuff. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to the extra deck. Okay, so extra deck time. Uh, this is, I, I think it's kind of standard. Uh, two Chi Zhao, I think two of this is always necessary. Uh, one big Long Yuan and one Cheng Ying. Um, yeah, these are like, I, I think I've been playing this ratio for the Sword Soul stuff in the extra for a very long time. So that's not really gonna change. Um, then we have Dragite, uh, Drago Berserker, and Baxia for the other eights. Um, a lot of times, like, I do end on like a Dragite because I think it's really good if you have the Chow Fang. Because then, if your opponent tries to, like, imp like if they draw Imperm for the sixth card, you can just negate with the uh, Dragite, uh, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, still solid. Draco Berserker is really good for OTKs, which is. Uh, pretty nice. Then uh, for the other 10, I do play Gamir. Um, I mean, you have three level 10s, which should be more than enough. You have this Cheng Ying and then the big long Yuan. Uh, yeah, and most of the time, like you don't make this, like to be perfectly honest, usually like I make big long Yuan. That, that's my go-to almost all the time. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Cheng Ying either, but like Cheng Ying is really good alongside the 10 Yis and clearing boards. So yeah. Uh, then we have our uh, Yang Zing package, which is the Denglong, the Yazi, and the Chaofeng. Um, you know, these have been, I mean, the, the Yazi and the Chaofeng have been played, you know, a lot in the past. Uh, the Denglong is definitely newer, and I'm only playing it because of the super heavy combo that there is. Um, that super heavy combo just like sold me on it. I was like, all right, like this, this puts in work. Um, so yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong. And I want to point out too with Denglong. Um, so like it, it has a secondary effect of if it leaves the field, you special summon a Yangzing monster from your deck. The reason I'm not playing any other Yangzings is because that's more bricks and I don't think it's necessary. The whole point of the combo is to get Chao Feng to lock your opponent out of fire and light monsters. Um, that's literally the entire point of the combo. It's not anything further than that. The rest is literally like your sword soul stuff. So uh, that's the explanation for that. And then the links, uh, two monk, one shaman, and one SP. Um, Shaman is nice too because it's a fire, so you know you can summon Protos and then you can call fire, which is also uh, pretty sweet. So I think these are probably more towards standard. SP can obviously, if you're playing on a budget, it can be replaced. Um, you know, you can play another another synchro monster if you wanted to. It doesn't really matter which one you want to play. Um, I know I was playing two copies of Baxia before. If you want to, you know play a second Baxia if you don't have an SP Little Knight, that's not a bad idea. Or if you have another card that you like, uh, that you know you, you would like to play, go ahead and play that. But uh, SP is still a really, really good card. So that is uh, the entirety of the extra deck. I'm gonna show you the experimental side deck that I have, um, you know, and see, see what you all think of that. So let's go ahead and jump on over to our side. All right, so starting off, we have some more hand traps. So three Ghost Bell um, cards, obviously really, really good. I don't think I have to explain uh, too much with that. Card is absolutely nuts uh, against certain decks. It's still good against uh, fire stuff. It's good against Labyrinth, which I think is a pretty good deck. So, I mean, it, it's just, it's solid overall. You can't, you can't complain. Uh, then I do play a Bistial lineup. Um, for more graveyard removal. If you play against like Branded or something, this is obviously uh, pretty good. It's good against Voiceless as well. So um, I think that having a Bistial package is is probably for the better. Um, it does definitely put in uh, a decent amount of work. So those are all the monsters that we side. 
Then I have some uh, removal here, so uh, three cosmic and one feather duster. Um, because, you know, you Cosmic, Fire King Island, and that goes wild. And then Feather Duster is, you know, good against back row decks. Um, you can side these in against Labyrinth as well. I think Labyrinth actually has a lot of potential. That is one of the decks that I actually uh, am looking to play this format. Um, the only thing I'm missing is, I think, two copies of the Black Goat Laughs. And then other than that, I've got, like, everything I need for the deck. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, though. Really, really good. So I figured having back row removal was a solid choice. Uh, obviously, too, Cosmic uh, Cyclone is good against stuff like Runic Fountain. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, then the Traps, uh, Three Judgment, and the One Unfortunate Anti-Spell. Um, yeah, this card going to one is just, like, really, really sad. Um, I've played this card so much for so long uh you know and now it's like all right i guess i have to you know do something different and you know put other cards on the side so we're going with three judgment uh and one anti-spell and i think that should be okay if uh for some reason like you're playing on like a super budget or you don't have like the bestial cards um you can always um cut one of the bestials to also play like a rivalry of the warlords and then you could play just like three DD Crow or something. Cause I know that, you know, DD Crows and a rivalry are gonna be cheaper than the, the Druus Worms. Uh, even one Druus Worm alone, I think one Druus Worm is still like $7. Um, but you know, it it's obviously up to you, whatever you're playing, whatever budget you have, that is not my, um, it's, it's not my business. <laughs> you guys keep your financials to yourself. But uh, yeah, that is the, the entirety of the list. Um, there's a lot that this deck can do. I don't think it's like, you know, tier one post ban list. I think that Protoss is obviously a crazy addition to the deck. Um, but I think that the super heavy stuff is actually more important than um, the Protoss because the locking out of fires and lights uh, makes you nib proof. It makes your fire matchup free. It's just, it's really good. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show off um, the, the combo that you do, that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So for this one card, uh, super heavy thing, you can open either one of these. It doesn't matter which one. Um, if you open up motorbike, you discard it to search for the Wakoshi. If you open up the Wakoshi, you just play for free. So we're going to say that we just have the Wakoshi. Um, you activate it in your pendulum zone. You use the effect, which is going to basically summon it out and play the Ben K into Pendulum Zone. Uh, your Ben K will activate to add your uh, Soul Horns. You'll activate Soul Horns and equip it to the Wakaoshi. You use the effect to special summon itself. Uh, now this is a tuner and this is a one. So you will synchro uh, for five and that will get you into uh, your Denglong. You'll do Deng Long Chain Link 1, Wakaoshi Chain Link 2 to put itself in the other Pendulum Zone. And uh, then that'll get your search for your copy of Suwani. You can then normal summon Suwani. This is summon number four. Uh, then you synchro for your Chao Feng. Uh, and now your opponent is locked out of uh, fires and lights, so you can't get nibbed. Um, you don't lose to fire matchups pretty much. Um, and then like, if you, at that point, like you're probably going to have your sword soul stuff, uh, and you have the ability, like you normal summon the Swanee, but now you have the ability to pendulum summon. Um, so you can literally like pendulum summon out a Moe and then trigger its effect, which is really, really good. Um, there was one hand that I drew. It wasn't a great hand, but I opened up like Vishuda and Ash. So I pendulum summoned them and I made a, a level 10 synchro. So like, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> it's still, still fully functions. Um, but like the whole point of this combo is to lock your opponent out of the, the lights and fires. Um, you know, that's really what you're looking for. And I think that even if you're not playing against fire, it's really good because it's solid against voiceless. Uh, I think I'm 99% sure it is in some way, shape or form. Um, it's also like pretty, pretty good against like any deck that's playing hand traps because if they don't ash um, like the Ben K, it, like, it, and a lot of times they're not gonna ash like this opening combo stuff. Um, but if they don't ash any of it, then they can't ash you later in the combo. 
and uh, they can't nib you, they can't Valor you later in the combos. So um, they may see you just start playing and like kind of let you play a little bit. And if they don't hand trap you immediately and you get to a Chow Fang, um, then they're probably gonna be like, oh man, I should have like hand trapped earlier. <laughs> so like most of the hand traps are cut off um, outside of like Imperm. Um, there's, there's just a lot of stuff that this kind of counters. So even if you aren't playing against Fire uh, or if you don't know what you're playing against yet, it's still worth making this because like you could very well uh, save yourself from getting getting hand trapped uh, once or multiple times so that's the really cool part um, I will you know obviously later try and upload some test hands or something but I wanted to uh, showcase uh, the fact that you can just make a chow fang that shuts off um, fires and lights that way at least you know that you know you can do stuff um, and ha having stuff like protos as well is just kind of neat because then like you know, there are multiple ways to kind of shut out fire decks. Um, so I think that's definitely, definitely worth noting because it makes, uh, makes our life as Sword Soul players a little more uh, easy. But hopefully you enjoyed the video and the deck profile. Uh, if you did, obviously give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know that you enjoyed it in the comments down below. And obviously um, I'm not super content with the format, which is why I haven't been uploading very much lately. Kind of, uh, kind of on a, uh, stint of burnout with the game um, but uh, I think that you know there are definitely decks that I can post it was between posting Sword Soul or a different deck that I want to showcase uh, which I will showcase it it's just a matter of um, when I when I post a video for it but uh, I'm very excited to uh, post a couple more deck profiles with the, the new ban list uh, into effect so obviously it goes into effect tomorrow today is the 14th tomorrow's the 15th uh so yeah if you enjoyed the video like i said give it a thumbs up don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well and for right now this is drew travel of the burning abyss signing out